In this video you will learn how to make an easy 12 volt off grid system to run your fridge. I won't add solar panels to the system to keep it simple. This system is ideal for a backup solution when there is a blackout. We will calculate the fuses and the wire thickness. I will give some tips about C rate and then we will calculate the charge and discharge times. At the end I will tell you how much the system will cost you. We will start with the system overview. We have a 12 volt 100 amp hour AGM lead acid battery. We will charge the battery with a 5 amp charger, which equals to 60 watts. Then we will have a 500 watt inverter, so you can power your AC loads. Let's start by taking a look at which fuses you will need. For the charger, you will need a 10 amp fuse. We choose 10 amps because this is the closest to 5 amps. The charger that we are going to use already has an inline 10 amp fuse, so we don't need to add one. The power of the inverter is 500 watts. If we divide 500 watts by 12 volt, we become 42 amps. The closest fuse to 42 amps is 50 amps. We will use an ANL fuse because it will match the MH screws on the battery terminals. Now we will take a look at the wire sizes. The charger delivers 5 amps to the battery. If we use a table, we can see that we can use 16 gauge or 1.5 mm squared. The current from the inverter is 42 amps. The closest we can see in the table is 50 amps. If we keep the length of the wire under 6 feet, we can see that we can use a 6 gauge or 16 mm square wire. What about C rate? The normal C rate of lead acid battery is 0.2 C. This means that our 100 amp hour battery can deliver a nominal charge and discharge current of 20 amps. If we calculate this, it's only 240 watts. To make a perfect system, you will need to add another battery in parallel in order to respect the C rate of the battery. If your load is higher than 240 watts, then the capacity of the battery will be reduced. If you want to learn more about C rate, I recommend watching my video about it. Let's look at the charge and discharge time. The 12 volt 100 amp hour battery contains 1200 watt hours, but only 50% of that is usable, otherwise the battery will degrade fast. This leaves us with 600 watt hours. If the fridge or load you are using is 100 watts, then you can use the battery for 6 hours. After we have run the battery to 50%, we need to recharge it. To recharge 600 watt hours, we divide it by the power the charger delivers. This equates to a 10 hour charging time. There are no losses mentioned in these calculations. Running the inverter non-stop will drain the battery. Only turn on the inverter when you use it. Here is a list of the components you need to make the system. I have chosen for a battery from Renergy which will cost you $200. The inverter has good feedback online and will cost you $46. The 5 amp battery charger will cost you $36. The ANL fuse will cost you around $10. The 6 gauge cables with the lux will cost you $16. The total cost of the system is $308. Optionally you can get a battery voltage monitor, which will tell you how much power is left in the battery. To conclude this video, you can see that the system is not that difficult to make. It will be able to provide you with some emergency power to run lights or even a fridge. The link to the schematic and parts will be in the description. If you want to learn more about off-grid solar power, consider reading my best-selling book about it, which is for sale on Amazon.